Hello colleagues, in our previous videos you could see calcaneal nail uh, as a fixation device in calcaneal fracture treatment. Today I'm gonna discuss this technique. A 65-year-old patient had fallen from a small height at her garden. She had got a close, severely displaced calcaneal fracture. Computed tomography showed type 3AC fracture according to Saunders. The indications for surgery were primarily negative burlus angle and risk of subfibular impeachment. At the first step we installed a distraction device based on two wires and achieved traction. You can see a large empty space in the subtal joint area. Through the fracture line of the tongue-type fracture, I introduced an elevator and lifted fragments of the articular facet leaning on the calcaneal tuber. Here I must pay tribute to some luck, because massive middle fragment was followed by the lateral one, and it had stood in the correct position. Then I installed two wires for temporary fixation of the fragments one from the calcaneal tuber transarticulary into the talus and the second in the frontal plane from the lateral articular fragment to the medial one. I installed two subhondral partially threaded screws and a screw to support the lateral part of the facet. Now I should explain the meaning of the last one. The calcaneal nail doesn't provide sufficient support to the lateral side of the joint. In this case, a large bone defect required additional fixation elements, thus additional longitudinal screw required. For this nail design, guide wire was correctly installed along the axis of the calcaneus with image intensifier control, and rimming along this wire with a cannulated drill bit was performed. Then the nail with aiming device was installed into the canal. Please note that there is no need to remove the distraction device to insert the nail. Thanks to Dr. Gluchov from Yekaterinburg for developing the design of the distraction device and the possibility of using it together with the nail and its aiming device. After insertion, the nail was locked with five locking screws that directed into the cystentaculum tally, calcaneal tuber and thalamic part of the calcaneus. Post-op CT scans show that the articular facet is restored close to the original anatomy. Mild displacement of the fragments were justified as acceptable considering close technique in an LI patient uh, with a high risk of complications. The height of the calcaneus was restored and its shape was correct. The fracture united without loss of height. The patient fully recovered her activity to the level before the trauma. Watching this video, please pay your attention to the range of inversion and aversion of the left foot and balance recovery as well. And that's all for today. If someone has an experience of using this implant, please share your opinion. What other tips and tricks would you like to see in this blog? I'm waiting for your comments. Bye.